Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. In the last episode, we used a Polaroid camera to take a picture of the back of some sort of a shelf thing in the basement, which had a passcode written on the back of it, and we used that to unlock this door right here. So let's see what's in here. Restroom, a bath, shower room, examination room, and then a bunch of patient rooms, I think. Ooh, a couple of health drinks. Tissue and an alarm clock. Huh. The clock's broken, but otherwise no big deal. Feels good to have beef jerky, even if I never really use it. Ooh, this doll's broken. Stanley getting angry. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me, because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day. For today. The day I'd see you, the day, the day you'd save me. Today. Heather. Watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather my goddess, Heather my lover, Heather my... Fucking creep. Okay, so watch out for Leonard, they said. That's the person that the detective went to try to find. Uh-oh. And Vincent is the one that told them, or told us, to find Leonard. Whoa. Oh no! Shit! Fuck. Okay, I am hurt quite badly, and this is not a katana situation. Fuck, I'm going through all my medkits. I'll use a couple health drinks here. Three health drinks. Wait, no, equip it. Oh no, they shot me again. Okay, I've never gotten this low. Um, hmm. I thought the pistol would stun them enough that they wouldn't be able to attack me, but that's not working well. Yeah, pistol not a great choice either. I think my health is so low I'm gonna use an ampule. Let me try the stun gun.
Ooh. That was damn effective. Fuck, I've used so much healing items. Yeah, maybe I should keep using this thing. I gotta get so close though, I'll probably take an opening hit before I can really use it. I'm gonna default to the katana again. Of course. Gross, the whole bed stinks like year old sweat. Hello? Claudia. No, I'm not- Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words, the anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? I'm sorry. She... She killed my father. She's a fool. But she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways. But I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here. And I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself, but the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. A seal? <laughs> I don't trust them at all, not just because of the things we've heard about Leonard, but also because they made it sound like even though they're trying to, they say they're trying to stop their own daughter Claudia, they also made it sound like they'll protect Claudia from me trying to kill her. So I don't think they're going to be that much of a help to me. all the doors in here. Yep. 
All right, second floor. Oh, we got new friends on the second floor. Uh, a door at the end of a hallway. Um, where? M4, that's where we th did the clock thing? Yeah. Uh, maybe the day room? I'm gonna try not to fight him if I don't have to. No. Shit. I mean, it's not marked on the map, right? Is there any door here that's marked as locked? There isn't. So, what? Maybe M6? I mean, it's not marked as locked, but... Hmm. The thing is though, there's no monsters in here, which makes me think this isn't it. Oh. Wait, what the hell? Story isn't even on the map. This is bad news. That's the way I came from, I think. That way. This picture, this one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. But I know this one. It must be... Still has an unusually high fever. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Why? What is keeping that child alive? What the hell? Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse. I know her. Lisa. Who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. 
She did get a little weird, though. Poor Lisa. At least she dragged that asshole down to hell. Oh, now this is open. It's just mindlessly turning that thing. Okay, don't touch me. Whoa, that... I think it was a nurse. But like, it seemed... big. Like an art piece more than an actual... More than an actual. <laughs> what the hell? check this out. I'd like to avoid touching this kind of thing if I can. Looks like there's a piece of meat or something on the ground. Ew. It looks like a cage. And it looks like a cage that's gonna come down to trap me if I step on that middle thing. Which it looks like I might have to jump to? Maybe? Or maybe not. What's that? There's this weird sour smell wafting around. Ugh. things. They're so close to the ground, I don't think I could stun them, really. Uh, I guess it's a shotgun. Oh, these are different. Like aiming the shotgun down, Heather? Uh, I needed to reload. Fuck. How are we doing on health? Well, uh, bad, but not terrible. Fucking die. Oh my god, they're invincible. Hell. 
I think I just used like two full magazines on them. That's like most of my shotgun ammo. Shit. Maybe I should have just run past them. I mean, I know they do hurt me a bit, but I probably don't need to come back here. <sighs> well, I made my choice. We're actually in the hospital again. Yeah, I thought I recognized this place. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. 1, 2, 3. 31, 32, 33. I'm going to be, like, super conserving of ammo now. Whoa. It's all those wormy things that you see on the ground. Actually, even on the walls in the mirror. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait. Door won't open, I can't even make a budge, what the hell? Oh shit. It's, uh, it's, it's spreading on me in the mirror. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna try to bash the mirror. Okay, well. Fuck. Oh my god. The other version of me stopped. Uh. Holy crap, that was really disturbing and really good. Damn, what a scene. Can I go back in there? I mean, I don't really want to, but... It's normal now. That was a hell of a scene. Wait, I've already... I've already been there in this world? When? How did I get out? Let's go check it out. Oh, it was this place. Oh, I see. Okay, well, fuck that place. I know there's some unexplored doors in there, but I seriously doubt they're going to open. That just leaves... Uh, I'm just going to go in the elevator. First floor. I think they eat beef jerky, don't they? I don't even know where they are. They're actually not quite here. I'm gonna try to avoid them. They're not worth shooting. My god, they take so much ammo.
Sounds like they're over there, so let's go the other way. Locked might be openable at some point. They're going for the food, I think. They're going for the jerky. Yes! Ugh. Sounded like it stopped, but I think it's eating again. Oh, hi. This used to be the room with the save point. Just some chairs and a cobweb in the corner. Maybe this was always the room with the save point. I don't know. Could be. Or maybe it just moves slightly. There's a memo here on the chart. Dr. Midkiff. Please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumor is true, according to the head nurse. I do think he's a good person otherwise, though. Easy to deal with. The rumor. 312. Well, that'd be on the third floor, of course. Ooh. I think that was an ampule. Handful of dirty syringes on the bed. Not about to use them, that's for sure. Okay, I think this save point is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to check out... I guess a bit more of the first floor, but it sounds like our end goal might be the third floor in room 312.